This is a map of Pelelu. On the bottom of the map you will see White 1 and White 2. This is where the first Marines landed. You will also see a line around the island. That is the reef where Boyd was at, providing supplies and transporting wounded and dead soldiers. sailors. These men are called soldiers. Pacific is the ocean. Peleliu is the island. 1944 is the year. For everything there is an appointed time. And there is a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to heal and a time to kill. A time to build up and a time to break down. A time to laugh and a time to weep. A time to dance and a time to mourn. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for peace and a time for war. We ended up in Peleliu. Uh, uh, Peleliu, we worked the reef there. Uh, we didn't go in, we didn't land on the beach. And I guess uh, Peleliu was, uh, yeah, I forget, the first Marines there. And uh, that was a pretty bloody uh, thing. I remember um, we hauled people back. To the we used our ship as a, as a hospital. Uh, and, you know, we'd take casualties back, and uh, uh, we loaded cab people and we ho loaded stuff uh, from from the from the from, a, from our little boats onto these alligators. We had the reef. You couldn't go across the reef with the boats, the small boats. And uh, so we had these alligators take take the uh, uh, troops all the way in, and they would bring the wounded back to us. But uh, Pelu was. Uh, uh, they they were firing on us. One of the uh, one of my friends got a Navy Marine Corps Navy Navy Marine Medal, which is right up next to the Congressional Medal there. Pacific Fleet Communique Number One Hundred and Seventeen. United States Army and Marine Assault Troops established beachheads in the Palau Islands on September Fourteenth. West longitude date. That is what is announced. That is what the world knows. But it is no news to the men on Pelham, where the true meaning of the official words is known to them, and to them only. Pacific Fleet Communique, number 118. United States Marines made some additional gains against strong opposition on Peleliu Island. I remember uh, we worked uh, night and day there. I remember going to sleep. We all went to sleep in this boat, in the boat, and we drifted over by a cruiser. And they fired. <laughs> they fired their. They didn't even know we were there. We woke us up. We got we got back to work again someplace else. But boy, that's something. Pacific Fleet Communique, number 
135. The 1st Marine Division and elements of the 81st Infantry Division continue to drive the enemy from remaining positions on Peleliu Island. And from island after island, country after country, continent after continent, and all the seven seas, the free worlds, brave and young, drive the enemy from remaining positions. It has been, it is, it will be the same forever so, until the forces of tyranny are no more. The real war will never be known to any other than those who fought it. It is they who understand. It is they who suffer defeat. It is they who conquer. These are the men into whose hands society has placed its means of survival today. It's prayers for tomorrow. They have fought a good fight. They have finished their course. They have kept the faith. <laughs>